So before we start, let me make it very clear. I'm not going to use my iPhone as a replacement for my tablet or desktop. I have my iPad and MacBook for that, but I do have the Bluetooth keyboard and Bluetooth mouse laying around. And I have some cheap tripods as well as my iPhone 12 Pro Max, the biggest iPhone Apple has ever made. So I thought it would be a cool idea to do this little experiment and use my iPhone as my main computer for one day. First of all, let's get out of the way all of the obvious limitations we have here. Of course, we have small display, which is not small, obviously, for phone, but it is small if you use it as a desktop. And, of course, software. Of course, we have iOS 14, which is not iPadOS 14, which had some new additions in recent years, like uh, a lot of multitasking features and everything. So we won't have a lot of multitasking going on on this setup, but it does have some cool accessibility features. We can connect our Bluetooth mouse and use it with our iPhone. And you will be surprised how good it is because the combination of the mouse as well as the keyboard with some shortcuts, for example, Command H will bring you to home command space will open the spotlight search anywhere, like no matter what app you're using, command space will bring the search. I've used this setup yesterday for five hours or so. And during this period of time, I often forgot I was using the iPhone and not my iPad or even MacBook. The biggest reason why I felt so was of course the Bluetooth keyboard because well, having the full size keyboard attached to your iPhone screen makes a lot of difference. So let me tell you what was my experience using this setup for the most popular tasks for me. So as I said, note taking or typing is perfect on this setup and the tripod makes it easy for me to look at the screen and the perfect keyboard and mouse combination makes it very easy for me to navigate between the text and type it. Same goes for email. Uh, the typing experience and viewing experience was perfectly fine and for the most part I felt like I'm using my iPad Pro which basically has all of the same features just a little bit bigger. Another task I do a lot on my devices is reading news using the reader app. The thing about this setup actually the keyboard shortcuts we have on the iPad version or Mac version are also working here as well on iPhone so by connecting the keyboard, I can just click on a couple of buttons here and navigate between the different articles. It's very seamless and very easy. Probably the biggest difference I felt compared to my iPad setup, for example, is web browsing. And this display is quite wide, so it gives you the full tablet or even desktop websites sometimes, but because it is too tall, it's difficult to browse the web in the landscape. You can browse it in the portrait mode without any problems actually and these days all of the websites are optimized for mobile so for most part you can browse it in the portrait without any problems. Another test for this setup is recording and editing video and with this setup all I need to do to record is just turn it around and record myself and of course we have video editing and the video editing is not perfect on this device because we obviously have such a small real estate and well i've seen people editing videos on iphone and that's totally fine but it, it won't be as good as ipad or macbook and i'm using the luma fusion on my iphone and actually this video was also edited on iphone this luma fusion and in general honestly i didn't notice a lot of difference to my setup this iPad Pro. The only big uh, difference of course is that the viewfinder for the actual video is very small so I needed to place the phone closer to my face which is not perfect. 
but if you use airplay for example you can mirror your screen or even just output the video to your tv or your monitor which supports it and you can kind of use this uh, setup this the external monitor as well obviously this is not something you would want to do if you have a desktop or ipad but if you really want to try and use this setup you can do that finally we have photo editing and photo editing can be even easier just by holding your phone in the hand and sliding and everything but even with this this setup the mouse and everything gives you good control of all of the features on your image editing application i'm using photos app and this new pro raw format we have it's a joy to edit photos just in photos app so this concludes my overall experience of using this setup of iPhone 12 Pro Max, this keyboard and mouse. It is surprisingly well thought. There are a few things which are obviously not perfect. For example, the landscape orientation is not applied to the grid of icons we have on our iPhone. I think like with iPhone 6 or 7, we had ability to kind of rotate the screen as well, but even right now, it's not a big deal. You can use this setup in the portrait mode as well. And the typing experience alone will be perfectly great addition if you type a lot on your iPhone. Now, if you do lots of typing and uh, you have tripod, even without the mouse, just connecting the keyboard to iPhone this via Bluetooth and placing the phone in front of your face will speed up things a lot. So thanks for watching this video. If you like this cool experiment, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Stay safe and I will talk to you in the next video.